All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCast episode number 729. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who would do anything for Hideo Kojima, Wombat. I, uh, and a Klondike bar? Any, any little favor that he needed, as long as he would appreciate it, he would be forever in your debt. I would need to hear from him personally. <laughs> I wonder if that was on the table. Not from his people. I would want to hear from him. He would have to physically <laughs> either call me. No, the, yeah, it would be a call, right. maybe a Zoom. Like I would right. do a Zoom. That's that's not too much to ask, to be honest. I don't think it is. You want me to pull down my story, pants. yeah, my pants and my story, where I say Hideo <laughs> Hideo Kojima uh, likes to eat poop. Right. Yeah. You know, sources. I don't think that's what it was. Uh, unnamed sources say that he likes to eat poop. And no. if he calls me, you know, personally, I'll take down my poop story. I don't even know what the leak was. I just saw the headline. Something about a game that they may or may not be working on. Right. And some side I never heard of posted it about it. And then they were like, you got to take that down. And he was like, no. And it, I think that was the whole thing. Was it Death Stranding too? I don't think so. Then I'm not interested. Yeah. Nice. So welcome to the show, everybody. What's been going on, Wombat? Nothing. Nothing? You can't say nothing. Nothing. nothing we're doing nothing. a show. You have to make something up at least. I, we're very, you know, we're, we're getting ready for summer. Uh, it's here. It's summer. It's is fucking here. hot I already. I know. I went in the little, my, my trash pool uh, <laughs> before the show. Nice. So How's the, tra- the same trash pool from last year? It, it, is the, it is the same trash pool from last year. It held up pretty well. <laughs> Not great. This is my advice. If you get the Intex pool, particularly this, you know, I have the 16 by four pool, which is a good size. Nothing wrong with the size. It Don't get the one that I have that has the, the fancy board, the, fa- the fancy windows. It has like these, like a clear plastic window band around the pool. What does that do? It's it like people you see your legs from it outside lets the people pool. see you when you're in the water, like the kids can go up to the window and press. Oh, oh I see. Sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah. 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 And it's cute, but leaky. Uh, yeah. After a season, <laughs> they they crack easily because it's seal a di- that up. I did. I sure did. We want the clear flex seal tape. And you know what works really well? Clear flex seal tape and the spray. We do Did like you the, take a video of yourself slapping it on. I should have. I should have. There's one big crack that we have so much tape and flex seal on. It's kind of laughable, but and that totally works. And there were two smaller ones that were just like the commercial where it was the slap it on and, and forget. Were, it. were your neighbors out there applauding you as you were applying? <laughs> they might as well have been. Bowl. They were it all was, peeking over the fence going, is it going to work? Is it going to work? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. No way. 50 bucks that it's going to work. No, no, no. Well, I'll take that. I'll is, take that. With, especially with, when you use the spray, it takes 24 hours for it to like set. So it got so noisy you, out there in the backyard. People so, were cheering. So you're like, okay, we'll know tomorrow if this really worked or not. And then you come back when you come back out that next day and there's no water dripping. You're like, I'm the greatest pool fixer upper that's ever lived. <laughs> Nice. But uh, yeah, I, we took a dip in it today. Is there anyone in the chat room? I just see nothing. Sorry, I don't mean to. Yeah. To derail. I just was like. Well, wow. how can you be talking and reading the chat at the same time? I usually don't, but I usually can like in my peripheral. I see it moving. Right. There it goes. Now it's moving. That was weird. Um, I was like, I'll be doing a show for no one. That's all. No, no I one. To... No, most people do not consume the show through this format of twitch i know it's I like two percent that's, that's so fine. we're always it's... basically doing a show for no one here oh uh, they're nice people. for the uh the relatively the hot ladies yeah the oh where's ladies. that comment where's that show feedback that was the sure. best one i don't really know what you're talking about there's a show feedback somebody who i guess he was a big obi-wan i can only assume that they were a big oh, obi-wan i didn't fan. include any of those why because... i mean it was good was, you you got drama. involved with it in the in the chat room. It's I stopped like, reading it after. I don't know if anything happened. Yeah, I so I just used the, the non related ones. People, yeah, they, you know, when they if you cr- criticize something, even something that you're like, you know, you don't think it's terrible, but you know, you have some criticism for it. If people like just love it, some people just can't take that, and they, 
have to lash out at you and say like, oh, you don't like anything or <laughs> you do things to get girls to impress you like in high school. I, I know. I, I trust me. I get it because I still get a lot of people that try to. These are the two comments I get most from people that are mad at me. It's, well, you like Fortnite, so your opinion doesn't matter. Or the other uh, one that I still get a lot, <laughs> even though I haven't watched the show in two years, was you like Legends of Tomorrow. So therefore you can't say what TV shows are good and bad. And I'm like, and, and again, those are two arguments that literally hold no weight or water, but uh, cause it's like, Oh yeah, I, I guess that's how it works. If I like hot dogs, I can't critique a steak. It's, you but, know, I, it's some people just can't. Nobody's I, ever said that about you. Wombat. <laughs> what? That if I like hot dogs, I can't critique a steak. No, yeah, one, will, no yeah, one will ever say that. No one's ever going to say that about you. <laughs> Right. For the record, I do like hot dogs and steak. Wait, the comment is from Two Kings. He says, I used to like this podcast. Now it's a cynical snark fest where the hosts just snipe at each other like high school teens desperate to look cool in front of the hot girls. So chat, I hope you guys are hot. Also, I think it's, it's all my best basically, stuff. What I read that comment to be is that you two are too mean to me. No, 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 no. Yes, I read it no, to No, you guys are too mean to me and you should be nicer. No, because then he says... Um, Nicer to me. I don't think that's what he meant. I, I was just curious that he thought that this, this show was attracting all the hot girls. No, no, it was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. Sure. No, I mean, I get a lot, of, a lot of pictures in my DMs. So, I mean, I think, I think that's accurate. So we're like high school teens. Desperate to look cool. Mm-hmm. In front of the cool girls. Sliding into my DMs after every show. No. And I have to reply back, I'm sorry, I'm married. That's what I say. <laughs> I actually have it set to an auto reply. So if you send me a DM Art. and auto replies back, it says just sorry, I'm married. By it's, the way, I should totally that do out that. Zero replies. <laughs> <laughs> your your bot has never activated once. <laughs> Not one time. <laughs> oh, but- Shh. The best part of the feedback, though, is that he really doesn't like Shipwreck. He says, I'm genuinely embarrassed by all three of you, but especially for Shipwreck, because he's from Ohio, where he, this guy's from. But Ohio kind of sucks. OH. So... He should expect suckiness from Shipwreck, is what you're saying? I mean, your governor kind of sucks now, but whatever. That's a whole different thing. It's not, it's not you know, it's, he's, does, he is supposed to represent the people's will and the people themselves. So maybe you're right, Wombat. Mm-hmm. So there it is. We'd be onto something. I know that with shipwreck with his his uh, U.S. Army propaganda T-shirts and his and his Pac-Man behind him. Right. Yeah, that's all I got. That's what's, that's what's <laughs> wrong with America. I don't know. And our podcast. <laughs> no, no one should take me seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. How about some more show feedback? Sure. This is from Mike the Basis. Beautiful show as always. I miss Bread's done. I thought I said it. Did it get cut off in the record? No, you did set it, but I, I took the audio from Twitch, and I don't know. It's not really that interesting. Okay. So as long as I did actually say it, that's all. I, yeah. I, did, I, did, I didn't listen to the show, so I don't know. But if, if you say that I said it, then the streak is still alive. That's all I care Oh, about. that's what you cared about? Okay. Uh-huh. You, you said it, but I stopped broadcasting before. Fair enough. And I, I had to go to the weed expo at the Javits Center the next day, so I didn't have time to like you know be editing a podcast. You don't want, you don't Nobody want to talk about the it. you don't want to talk about the weed expo. I do. So talk about the weed. You said what's going on. You can talk about what you're going on. Or... I I didn't say I wasn't going to talk about the weed expo. I was about oh. to talk about the weed expo. It, would you have preferred an all digital weed expo? No, never. Horrible so, idea. So is it like the food expo where you walk around and they're just giving you free samples? That no, food? no. This is this is at the Javits Center. Uh, I don't I, know if you've been. A, I can't believe there's a weed expo at the Javits Center. By the way, it's That's crazy. it's a corporate. It's like a business to business type type of of expo. I've been to like a ton of these things. Like I've worked them. I've been just like an attendee. It's just like that. Except the booths are all weed related. Like some of them are about packaging. Some of them are about like, you know, display cases that you would have in your dispensary. Some of them are actual brands of weed that is being grown in, you know, in, uh, I forgot, uh, in Hudson Valley was one, was one booth. Um, I went with Ben Gilbert, by the way, who was covering the, 
the the show for his publication, his ex publication. Now, um, it was free, and it was free, so I was like, of course I'm going to go. Um, yeah, it was. So it was basically that. I mean, there were two booths that I saw that I found that were actually selling weed out of maybe like a hundred booths. One of them was like, hey, we have these bracelets that you can buy. Now, if you buy one bracelet, we'll give you a free gift of a pre-roll joint. If you buy two bracelets, we'll give you three pre-rolls. Now, if you buy these rolling papers, we'll give you an eighth of weed. Now, if you buy two rolling, it was a whole thing like that. And it was just like, why even go through the ridiculousness of this? Um, and then there was one other booth that was basically just selling it. Like they just had a table and a list of weed and then you would get, ask them, you know, you tell them what you want and then they would give it to you. Nice. So was it fun? It was very fun. I would say like the best, I haven't been to the Javits center before where it's, where it's been that empty, where you just op open up the door and it's just like, there's one person for every like a thousand feet of space. Basically, and on the show floor, it was it wasn't you know it wasn't empty. But the mayor, I got to see the mayor speak. The mayor of New York City, the mayor of Wheat Town, the mayor of New York City, okay, came and gave like he was the keynote speaker or something. He was scheduled to speak. That's why Ben was there to cover it. Wombat, stop listening already. I'm listening. I'm listening, and it's I have work too. Also, but you're yes. doing you're doing work now. It, I'm so overwhelmed with work. I haven't slept in like four days. Well, you but, know, we don't need to do this show. This is just for fun. So it shouldn't be like a situation where you have it's to be okay. doing I'm, work. I'm, I'm present. You were talking about Ben. Keep going. That's not what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Who was I listening? Who did I, was I listening to speak? You were listening to someone speak. It was great. Right. Mm -hmm. Mayor, the mayor of New York City. You might have heard of him. Oh, okay. He sucks, though. Doesn't he kind of suck? He really sucks. He was supposed to speak for 15 minutes. He spoke for like four. The first thing he said when he got on mic, he's like, I'm really disappointed that this room doesn't smell like weed. I was expecting it to just, I was going to come in and it was just going to be smoke and smell like weed. And, and I'm very disappointed. And he said a bunch of bullshit for like a minute. And then by finishing, he said, all right, guys, everyone light one up for me. You know, obviously you're not supposed to be smoking in the fucking convention center, but he's like, all right, light one up. And then just like, you know, walked down the aisle. And as people were waiting for the next beer to get, to get, to get up there, some guy was just like shrugged his shoulders and had like a big joint in his mouth and just, lit, just you know, the mayor said he was disappointed. It didn't smell like weed and to light one up. So the guy did. Anyway, the key thing takeaway is if you can go to the, a weed expo for free, I would recommend it. All right. Especially with Ben Gilbert. I was not invited. So, you know, what can you do? I didn't find out you were there until you sent a text saying, hey, look where we are. Otherwise, maybe I would have taken the train in and met you. You at don't the have Travis. a job. I could take an, an afternoon off. So you, you just told swamped. me you were in swamp. You're fucking looking at your work right now. This I know. Is I Friday. What are you talking it. about? The invitation would have been nice. Yeah, well. <laughs> It wasn't mine to, to me make. Too. I don't I know. mean, you could at least have invited me, so I could have said, no, I'm sorry, I'm too busy at work. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It wasn't did my get, Did you at least get Wombat a present or something? No, I don't want presents. I want presents. You want weed? No, no, I don't want a present. Oh, I presents. Want, I want your presents, yeah. not your presents. I'm, yeah, I don't know about that. Anyway, any that's the weed. So that's the uh, the weed expo. They have a very nice park across the street where you can smoke weed too. Nice. And they even have a smoking section in the park. Last time I was in the Javits Center was probably the car show in 2014. It's not, it's <laughs> not like that. It's so empty. That's like, so weird. Compared to that. Like, it's just, yeah, it's great. It was nice. It was very breezy in there. I felt like COVID was just blowing right by me. So it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, any other show feedback? Uh, well, according to a, a asparagus pea smell, after we had talked about my incident where the can of seltzer flew out of a box into my elbow whilst we were in a car that stopped short. As Wombat has discovered, SUVs are much more dangerous than a normal car. They are classified as trucks and don't meet the same safety standards. The statistics around them are shocking. You are twice as likely to kill someone or be killed yourself while driving one. 
Considering the horror, horrific environmental impact, these vehicles are a monstrous obscenity, which should immediately be banned. And the people that manufacture wow. them charged with crimes against life kind. This comment went someplace. Quickly. I don't even know what that means. And there life we go. kind. I don't think that's a word. I don't think that's a word either. I mean, I don't. I agree know. with him, though, except for the part with the crimes against life kind. Yeah, I, I'm. The SUV comes in very handy for us because we have a lot of crap that we have to bring around to places. But there's also a thing called a hatchback, which was a pretty good invention back in the day. Well, that's what my car is. the The EcoSport is more hatchbacky than the uh, right. Yeah, than the Explorer, which is more SUV. Also, had someone said to me I should spend the extra twenty dollars and just get get a net. We actually do have the net, but the net is for the back of the SUV. So when you open that back door, things don't roll out. There is no net for the other side. of. There the is. Back. They have yeah. hooks. You don't have hooks? No. What kind there, of SUV is this? This is a Ford Explorer. There's no hook for the other side. There's a hook for the door side. There are hooks that you could put the net up. So things don't roll out. There's when you hooks. Open the back door. There isn't. There are hooks. There is no back. There is no like, would that be a front net or because the, the back net would be all the way in the back mid net? There is no mid net option for the Explorer. For the for the Subarus, you have a net that goes you can buy a net that goes up in the back like you're talking about. But then it also has a secondary direction where the cargo net straps down so that you can you can up near the third row of seats so you can hold stuff down. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. I don't think there is, but whatever. How, are, can you not put car seats in a Ford Explorer? I don't know. I've never, I've never attempted to put. Don't they have the net? There. You're talking about the ship. You're talking about the net that goes on like from the top down, right? Like the four corners net. There's, there's several different options. That's what I so have there, in my there's car. There's a, there's a, a sliding cover that kind of fits down and just covers up the top. Then you have a net. That you can come up from the backside, like Wombat's talking about. Right. But then it also goes along like the Top. the floor of the back, and you can just strap stuff down mm. to it. You strap stuff underneath it. Oh, you're okay. That's a different type. I'm talking about like putting a net up, like that hangs down behind the back seats. That thing does not. That does not exist. If you're saying there's something I could like put as like a drape over to hold things in place, I have not looked into that. Mm. You should look into it. Okay, I will look into that. The drape over style. But I don't think, I don't I have to look to see I, where I that I feel like uh, asparagus piece smells uh, stats might be handpicked here. I agree with his general sentiment. I don't know about, you know, the, the factual <laughs> nature of it, but I agree with his general feelings. I feel like somehow Americans have decided that bigger is better. And yeah. You know what the problem is, is that the gasoline was too cheap here. And so, like, people didn't really give a shit if they had drove a huge fucking tank that got 20 miles to the gallon. So maybe now they're going to be more careful if gas costs, like, seven bucks a gallon. Like, in every other country in the world. Like, our gas is way cheaper. So anyway, you know, most, most yeah. like, soccer moms don't need to drive a fucking Denali. Like, it's... <laughs> Those things are crazy. Like, there's, a, there's a wide range of SUVs. <laughs> yes, there are. There, it's a very wide. Cr- right, range. right, I, I, right. I, I don't have uh, the largest. No, experience. I know you don't. I don't. I know. What's the one that's oh the Escalade? Yeah. I once one time I saw an Escalade in Tokyo only once, and it was pulled up right next to a Japanese commercial van uh, truck. Like they're it's like a box truck, but they're they're very compact, and the Escalade <laughs> was bigger, like almost bigger than a fucking commercial box truck in japan so and i it was just ridiculous looking so we're fucking it up basically for everybody here in america all right then what else uh this is a follow-up to a listener that said he was going through old episodes of our show and shipwrecks old show and buying all the games we recommend that would be idiot man 09 which seems like a fitting name perfect name for doing this activity yes and he says of course he bought the gold edition of naughty bear it just wouldn't be right to not buy it. So that's that answers that mystery from last week. And while while it was bought as more of a gag, it's actually not a terrible game. I'm on the hunt now for another game recommendation from Wombat, Second Sight. 
just have not seen it at the price I want yet. Uh, that game is excellent. And because he said, I'm like, how much is that game going for? It's like uh, 15 to 20 bucks on the Xbox, and it might be as high as 30 on the PlayStation 2. So that's not dirt cheap, I guess. 